Hello and welcome to Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Go get him, soldier! Excellent work, Lieutenant. Even without the support of Major Gorilla, you handled the situation admirably. Taking out the U-529 and the Nekoth prototype should keep the balance of the Atlantic power on our side. And we're predicting that the next prototype will be delayed until this fall. But there's no time to celebrate now. You've got to get out of there fast. The base is on high alert, and the Germans aren't going to let you slip away without a fight. Make your way to the train depot on the south side of the facility. A German supply train captured for us by the Norwegian resistance forces should be there soon. A squad of our troops will be on board to provide covering fire at the rendezvous. When this opens, these boxes, cars, doors, they'll lay down covering fire as long as they can. Be careful to avoid firing on them. Use this attack as a diversion, and get to that train. Once they're low on ammo, they're going to roll out of there as fast as possible. And if you're not on that train by that time, they will be forced to leave you behind. Good luck, Paron. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between. We all having a good day. Some cockroach. Yeah. Oh! Fucking hello! <laughs> Thank you, cockroach, buddy. You saved me. Someone down here? No. This is. I remember stating this in Met, uh, the Return to Castle Wolfenstein. There was a little section where you're in the pop vents. I remember specifically stating that um, what do you call it? That you come out on top of some bookshelves. But I can't remember if that game or this game, and it's. This game. If I remember correctly, it's just another guy just sitting up here. You don't need no officer right now, and you don't need a foot. Did that kill him? I think it did. That's <laughs> awesome. There he was! I knew there was a guy up here. And then... It's actually a good idea to kill people as you're going because it means there's less of them to shoot on your way back here. Like this guy. Did I just get... <gasps> this pistol's amazing! Wow, that hit all the way up there. The fact I could see that bullet hole means a lot to me. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it. You didn't die. Uh, fuck off. Ow, ow, ow. You're hurting me. Come on, you can. Ah, you come. Come on. Not the right person, but close enough. He was looking the other way! I saw you, yeah! Cheating bastard. Oh, hello. Cheating bastard. Now I know where he is. Ambling charge! Oh, there's a lot of them! There's a lot of them down here. Oh, hello. Wait for it, wait for it. There he is. <laughs> AI. What are you gonna do? I'm assuming these are all batteries. Hello! Man, I'm gonna spread a bit. <laughs> okay, maybe I was thinking someone else came up on uh, came up, but that's how that first guy got up here. <laughs> One more is all I need. Hello. Good night. And down. If I remember correctly, that was an utter bastard of a section to get through as a kid. I just could not, like, deal with any of that. Hello. Yeah. 
what I had to go down this way. Maybe not. Seems not. Footsteps are extremely loud, I've noticed. I have this game turned way down on my headset. Oh, grenade, grenade. Hello! There's everyone here, apparently. As I was saying, I have this game turned way down on my headset. To the point where if I go any lower, my headset only displays out, only ejects out of one ear. It's because the power gets. That's how. I'm assuming that's how it does the power. Uh, how it mitigates the volume is by lowering the power output. So it lowers the power all the way down to only having one uh, one headphone running. The left headphone that just runs at a higher volume. Oh, this isn't working. Ow, ow, ow. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> I'm running! You're not doing very good suppressing fire! I'm here! Oh, they shot me and let everything! <laughs> I got shot 43 times! <laughs> Ow, I wonder if that was all free. Put together like all three areas, probably. Fire to continue. Operation Overlord. Excellent work in Norway, Lieutenant. Under very difficult circumstances. Thanks to your efforts, the Kriegsmarine wolf packs that once terrorized the North Atlantic have been decimated over the past year by our naval and aerial patrols. With Allied shipping lanes secure, the door is now open for the invasion of Europe that we've been planning since the start of this bloody war. It's called Operation Overlord. And we're breaching Hitler's Atlantic Wall through the Normandy coast. The Germans know we're coming, and coming soon, but we've got them thinking that the invasion will be at Calais, well north of the actual landing beaches. This will be the largest amphibious invasion in history, Lieutenant, and you're going to be in the group that's leading the charge. Now, we may have numbers on our side, but we don't have the experience. Most of our troops are fresh out of basic training, and they need true combat veterans like you to help lead the attack. That's why I've reassigned you to the 2nd Ranger Battalion. The landings will take place across five beaches, codenamed Gold, Juno, Sword, Omaha, and Utah. The British will land at Sword and Gold, the Canadians at Juno, and the Americans at Omaha and Utah. You'll be going ashore at Charlie Sector of Omaha Beach, just west of the Dog One exit. Although the beaches are not as fortified as they are at Calais, the Germans have left no spot undefended. Every inch of beach is covered by machine guns and artillery, and the place is surrounded by miles of barbed wire and countless minefields. One more thing, Lieutenant. Try to keep in mind that this is the largest and most complicated operation that we've ever attempted, and in my experience, whenever things get complicated, things go wrong. But no matter what happens, I believe that with soldiers like you leading the way, we will prevail with this Allied assault. Good luck at Omaha Beach, Lieutenant, and Godspeed. Um, sir, I have questions. Why am I in the lead? Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the Great Crusade, towards which we have strived these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty, loving people, everywhere, march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring around the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed people of Europe, and security for others in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped, and battle hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since Nazi triumphs in 1940-41. to 41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offense has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capability to wage war on the ground. Our home fronts have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war. Placed at our disposal great reserves 
of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching towards a victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. And here is where it all goes to shit. I never understood the design of these ships, because they're just little corridors. It's just like, we want yes, to make it and stay clear of so... The beach. Port side, you with Pal. Starboard, you with me. Head for cover and get to the shingle. I'll see you we on the beach. We want to get as many people onto the beach as possible, right? Let's put a narrow corridor that the Nazis basically have to aim down all over the place. Granted, numbers win here, but even so. I don't know any other better way of doing it, maybe having the sides fold out and give a bit of cover to the soldiers jumping out of the boat but I don't know how easy it would have been to design especially if these were also used for getting uh, vehicles I don't know if these particular boats but these versions or this model of boat rather but this design of boat was also used for getting vehicles onto the land so I don't know if a, a personnel one with sides open up rather than the front would have been a good idea but it may have saved a few lives, I don't know. I don't know how it's 2020 and all, but even so. Is there any HP anyway? You. Here a minute. I can tell by your armband. Go, go, go. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Wow, shit's blowing up everywhere. Well, these guys just decided to appear. Oh, no. I have to wait here now. You're not going to do anything from this range, soldier. We got a medic up here anywhere? Yeah, I know. So let's get up the beach. That's our rendezvous point is up there. Oh god, there's people sitting on the crosses. Tank tracks, whatever you want to call them. Ow, ow, ow. You a medic? No, you seem to be an engineer. Look okay. it, I'm here. Yeah, working on it. I'm going. Hi. Oh, cheers. Where am I needed? Who needs me? You need me. You fucking what? Ah, oh, okay. Waiting for a break in enemy fire, sir. Going. Ow, 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 ow. I got them! This is as down as I can get. Make it. Ow, ow.
Was I meant to do that? I don't know if I'm meant to be meant to have gone with those guys or not, but I guess I was. Here we go. I knew there was a thing I had to do. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'll, I'll just chill here for a bit, guys. Come on. Made it. Oh, god damn it. Wow, that, that one was a bit loud. <laughs> ah, finally, I'm in. I feel like there's meant to be a ladder there for some reason. These American soldiers, they are. Why are there American soldiers in here? Run, run. Oh, hello. Not anymore, there isn't. Hey, do you have any meds on you at all? Oh, fuck. I have... Like no HP. To, oh, HP. Phew. What are they? Five grenade rounds, pistol rounds. Don't need the MP40. I got the Thompson. Uses a different ammo type. But who cares? Okay. Fucking finally got the beach. Jeez. That was so fucking annoying. Hi there. That's a new door type. That's a unique door type, I believe. And that's a new animation. I haven't seen that one yet. I see a person. Oh, I see two people. Hey, uh, could you hold that? Oh, 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 shit! <laughs> eh. That didn't do much either. I mean, did that. I Wolfenstein. I keep seeing these helmets and try and pick them up to have armor. No Wolfenstein. Hello. I did the trick. Ah! Why are they being exploding? Can't break that. Any health in here that I can see? I can't. Ow! I hear people behind me here. Oh, that was a bad time to reload. Hey, I did the trick. Get him! I assume these guys infinitely respawn. But I'm not 100% sure. Alrighty, oh boys. Up you come. Let's deal with these Nazi bastards. <laughs> you shouldn't have given me a machine gun. Ho ho ho, bitch. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's there. Medal awarded. Why did I, what did I get a medal for? Excellent job on Omaha.
Due to your exemplary actions, you've been reassigned to a special mission with Captain Ramsey of A Company. The situation in Bocage is grim. The Overgrown hedgerows dividing the landscape past the beach provide the Germans with perfect defensive territory. Our every offensive is met with treacherous, overlapping defenses. MG42s, mortars, 88s, you name it. Certain areas that were to be taken by the 2nd and 101st Airborne divisions remain in the enemy's hand, and the result of the misdrops is a night of invasion. Your mission is to penetrate enemy lines, disrupt enemy defences, and link up with the paratroopers from the 101st who have taken to destroy a special target between Isigny and Keratin. If they are under strength for KIA, you will complete their mission in with Ramsey. A jeep is available for transport, but there's no way to tell how far you'll get before you have to abandon it, as the roads closer to the target are well defended by 88mm guns. You'll receive further details once you're in the field. Best of luck, Lieutenant. Oh, that hurts my throat somewhat doing that. Check out this house. Oh, this mission. I remember this mission. Expect close contact. Watch it. I'd rather just get out of there, thanks. That worked really well. I can check upstairs because I remember correctly there is someone in here. Yes. Ow, oh, you shot me through a wall, you bastard. Oh, he's shooting me through an open door. Oh. Maybe that guy didn't shoot me through a door. It's just this guy here. Oh, oh. Uh, it's this guy. Who needs to just die? Oh! Ah! <laughs> Hi! How you doing? <laughs> Hello? Hey, alright, some airborne boys. Boy, are we glad to see you. We landed way off the uh. road, sir. We've been trying to find our regiment ever since, but there's snipers here. I think he was a bit gay. Oh! Watch the back. Ah, uh -huh. right, I have to go downstairs. I am really low on health. Okay, I think that's the last of them. That's nice. I need to go in. Everyone, here. check your ammo. So much for our transport. Looks like yeah, we're gonna have to finish this mission. Kinda before. didn't go particularly well. There we go. I I can we'll save. Can I save? Can I save? Save? Save. I gotta save there. I hope you have a nice morning, a nice evening, and a nice afternoon. And let's see what medal I've got. There's a place to see medal case. Medal case. American campaign medal. By meritorious conduct invasion of Normandy, second one uh, went out to clear a major German fortification and you copious bravery before the enemy and aiding the defense of Norway. Discovered a sought after Kree's Marine put off in a personnel manifest. Ah, okay, so if you um ah, uh, so if I didn't keep shooting at the gunnery guys, I guess I wouldn't have gotten that, and I guess I wouldn't have got that if I hadn't um if I had left the Thing behind. Either way, I hope you have a nice morning, a nice evening, a nice afternoon. And I will see you all next time. Ta everyone. I don't know who I say that to, there's nobody watching.